Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. We're getting ready to go camping in a few days and we thought we're going to make fire starting a little bit easier so we're going to prepare a dryer lint tinder rolls so that we can just put a few branches on, put the tinder rolls in there, light it up, we're ready to go. Let me show you what we're doing. So we're in the shop. I've just got a couple of logs that we've cut down. I'm going to use a knife and a rubber mallet and we're just going to shave a few pieces of wood off of this. Okay, now that we've got a few pieces ready to go, we'll lay them out. As you guys know, dryer lint is extremely flammable and will catch a spark easily. So we're just going to start by laying that out. Then we'll lay some of this small dry tinder on top. And we'll start making our dryer lint tinder roll. We'll just roll it up nice and gentle. Keep it together. Very easy. And as we get to the end, we're going to put it here on the larger one, put one behind it, and we'll add one over the top. We're going to tie a string around those to hold it together. Put one piece of twine there, another one underneath. Just pull those up. We'll make a knot right here. Okay, there's one. Let's tie the other end. These are times when you need an extra hand. There you go. We've got a dryer lint tinder roll ready to go. Just throw that on our logs and start our fire. Let's go give it a go. We've decided to light this by itself just so that you can see what a great fire starter it is. And I want to show you using your flint and steel, you want to maintain your steel in the same position so you can direct the spark and then pull the flint. So you, instead of trying to aim, you know that it's going to be in the right place the whole time. There we go, one spark, got a flame. So remember all you need for fire is fuel, oxygen, and heat. So don't wrap the lint too tight. I hope that you'll try this, and I hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV. 